Good evening, this is WWAY Sports. I'm Dustin Dorsey. More than 60 teams began playing today in the Flight 22 team camp happening all across the area. At the end of the day, the teams are playing to win, but the camp offers much more to the players and coaches. Teams from all over North Carolina came to several schools, including New Hanover High School, to compete in the Flight 22 basketball team camp. The three-day camp gives teams from our area competition from across the state while they prepare for the 2017 season here in the summer. With us, it's just my seniors leading and teaching these new girls exactly what their role is going to be. So this is great a great way to sort of set that foundation for the upcoming season. Larry Sampson is taking over for Bertha Dixon right as the girls' head coach of New Hanover High School. So this time is valuable to get his team on the right path. But the players benefit from the camp as well. Extra gym time, we get more time in the gym. I could have played with Hanover, but I chose not so one of my former teammates could play with us in this tournament. My team stuck around a long time since like ninth grade. Ninth grade, we won a national championship. So it was just fun every year, every summer, putting the work in for it. There have been several players who played in Flight 22 basketball tournaments who've gone on to have great careers, like New Hanover's former star, Kadeem Allen. And Allen says the work being put in is worth it, especially for our local schools. You know, it's great exposure. Um, Give, give, give the kids an uh, opportunity to play against in front of the home team and the home crowd and all the fans, friends and family, and uh, it's just a great opportunity. Allen was in town to see the Flight 22 camp, but he has been a busy man working out for several NBA teams, including the Charlotte Hornets, ahead of Thursday's draft. Allen says Boston is another team showing some serious interest in the former Wilmington High School star. Today we caught up with Allen, who says he's excited for what's to come this week. You know, just the same mindset, stay humble, um, you know, don't take anything for granted. Uh, you know, it's great working out for different teams, and uh, hopefully Thursday my dream come true. Many are still predicting Allen to go somewhere in the second round or sign with a team as an undrafted free agent. A few weeks ago, Maldo Salda, the forward from Mount St. Mary's basketball, was the latest in the signings for new UNCW men's basketball coach C.B. McGrath. But those plans have changed. Salah took to Twitter to announce he'll be playing for Kansas State Wildcats instead of the Seahawks. Salah says due to recent developments, an opportunity to play for Kansas State represent, or presented itself. What Salah may be talking about is the recent dismissal of sophomore forward Isaiah Maurice from K-State's program. C.B. McGrath now has two scholarships to fill for next season. And there are two basketball players committing to UNCW today for the women's team. Jessica Mitchell from Linganori High School in Maryland and Zania Taibuli of Element Elmont Memorial Senior High School from New York took to Twitter to announce their commitments to the school. Karen Be Barefoot has now landed five players since taking over with the addition of the two players today. And today is only Monday, which means there are still four more days of sports coming up this week, and we have some great events happening. See you tomorrow, Amanda. <laughs>